the extensively used M109 includes a 155mm howitzer and is the primary self-propelled artillery assist for U.S. Army divisions. It is a huge track car with a completely traversable turret and outstanding bustle. Early editions had a short, 23 quality barrel. Later versions, inclusive of the M109A6 Paladin, have a 39 quality barrel. The M109 has a group of six, commander, gunner, driving force, and three ammunition members. The hull is fabricated from all welded aluminum armor, which protects in opposition to small palm hearth and shell splinters. The driving force is seated on the front left of the hull, with the power pack to the right and the turret to the rear. The driving force is supplied with a single-piece hatch cowl that opens to the left, with three M45 day periscopes in the front. These may be blanketed with small steel flaps to protect you from damage. One of the day periscopes may be changed with the aid of using a passive night imaginative and prescient periscope. The all-welded aluminum armor turret on the rear of the hull has a rectangular hatch in every aspect that opens to the rear and dual doorways inside the turret at the rear. The commander is seated on the proper side of the turret and has a 360-degree rotating cupola, a single-piece hatch cowl that opens to the rear, and an M27 day periscope. A .50 cal M2 heavy barrel device gun is pintle set up at the front of the cupola. The gunner is seated on the left aspect of the turret and has a rectangular single-piece hatch cowl that opens to the right. The dual doorways on the rear of the turret are furnished for ammunition resupply. Mounted on the rear of the hull on every aspect of the hull door is a huge spade. This is manually reduced to the floor before firing. They are usually deployed handily while firing pinnacle charges. The torsion bar suspension on both aspects includes seven twin rubber worn out avenue wheels with the pressure sprocket on the front and the loafer on the rear. There aren't any track go back rollers. The tracks are of the single pin, center manual kind with replaceable rubber pads. The M109 is equipped with night imaginative and prescient devices, but does no longer have nuclear, organic, and chemical NBC conflict protection. The car may be equipped with an amphibious package together with nine airbags, four on every aspect of the hull and one on the front. The baggage was inflated by the car, which could then propel itself throughout rivers on its tracks at a maximum velocity of 4 mph. The important armament is a 155mm M126 howitzer and an M127 mount with a fume extractor and a huge muzzle brake. The bulk device is hydropneumatics, and the breech block is of the well-in-step thread kind. Gun elevation and despair and turret traverse are hydraulic with guide controls for emergency use. The M109 Paladin self-propelled howitzer, first produced in 1963 and stepped forward on several occasions over the last 40 years, is presently slated for a complete overhaul. The M109 PIM improves many not commonplace additives of the Bradley fighting vehicle, bearing in mind greater commonality with different Army car structures and maximizing manufacturing savings, component stock and upkeep employees whilst fending off issue obsolescence. The PIM modernization attempt is a sizable improvement of the M109A6 Paladin which incorporates shopping for space, weight, and power cooling. While the self-propelled howitzer's cannon will continue to be unchanged, the PIM will recreate a contemporary chassis, engine, transmission, suspension, and guidance device to go with an upgraded electric-powered ramming device.